Hello, in this video we are going to go over custom folders. Here I'm going to log into a data source. Typically we go under documents to search for our projects. We choose active projects, we choose the district we're in, we choose the county we're working in, and then the PID that we are working on. So there is a simpler way of keeping track of your projects, and I was going to go ahead and show that here today. So if we minimize documents, down below we can see custom folders. If we open custom folders, we will see personal folders. Personal folders is where we can make our own folders and name it whatever you like. Here I'm going to go my projects and I'm going to put the PIDs that I'm working on. So now if I open up the personal folders here, I have my projects folder. If I right click on this, I can add a folder. I can add a document or a URL to this folder. So I'm going to add a folder and navigate down the tree to the project that I'm working on. After selecting the PID, I'm going to hit OK. And it does not matter what districts you're in, what counties you're working on, you can add multiple folders. So here I'm going to add another folder, but this time in a different county. Now if we open up my projects, I have the two PIDs that I'm working on. And here I can click on it and it will navigate directly to that PID without moving me from my projects. Here I'm going to create a, another folder. This time I'm going to put documents in. So I'm going to place a document that is to help navigate my way through ProjectWise. So here I hit add document this time. And we actually have help documents under the standards. So if we go to O3 standards, we can click on help documents. And here I'm going to select the basic functionality video and add that to my help documents. Since I found that to be informative, I can watch it later. Now if we click on help documents, we can see that document. 